<laughs> Chai, all this bullshit we went through, that shit could have been a goddamn email. <laughs> It is your favorite, favorite auntie Mo. Yes, it is. Day two with my hat. <laughs> Yesterday we went jogging. Today we in ATL Shorty. We are back with another episode review of Catfish, y'all. This is season eight, episode nine. Aaliyah and Jaquan. Um, as let me before I get into it, as always, church announcements. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Let me know before you leave. And then make sure your notifications are turned on. Look here. Today it was sunny and it was hot. After we had the bipolar weather yesterday, so my hair is even more, now it's more like, not quite the Congo yet, but it's very much so, I'm deep in my African roots at the root, but um, the massa side is still trying to hang on down here. That's what's going on. So look here, we in ATL shawty today. <laughs> Peace up, A-Town down. Y'all, this episode pissed me off. It pissed me off. It was a waste of time. This shit could have been an email. It actually could have been a goddamn text. It could have been a goddamn gift, quite honestly. Because, <laughs> really, y'all? But hopefully, look here. Y'all are ready for this review because I'm tired as hell, y'all. I'm tired. I had to put my bra back on and do this doggone review because I was laying up in the bed and I was so damn sick. Oh, I was inside. I was finna go out. My husband was like, didn't you say you was going around? I was like, shut up. Stop reminding me. Shit. So look here. Hopefully y'all are ready for this review. I'm ready to give it to you. So let's go ahead and get right on up into it. Real quick, before I get into the review, I need to give a shout out to my new boo, Expanding You. Look here. You know your Auntie Ratchet. I, I'm in a ball cap and a goddamn t-shirt with a blue party cup, blue frat boy cup on top of that. Last week, uh, you know, yesterday was the day. I don't know. I said it was reunite. I, it looked like reunite to me. The wine that you can get the liquor store. My boo said it's Rio Niti. That's why your ass is smart. Oh, shit. I done already had too much of the reuniti. Because it's reuniti. <laughs> Gonna have me breaking some shit in a goddamn minute. But you know what? Look, auntie ain't gonna lie. I might call it reunite a couple more times to the shit stick. But I sure enough goddamn appreciate you for. That's why y'all be rocking with your auntie. When y'all see me out here looking a ratchet fool, you're like, auntie. <laughs> bitch, you know, I rocks with you, auntie. But, <laughs> bitch, that's not what it's called. <laughs> Thank you, boo. I sure enough appreciate you. Bitch, you on my Christmas list. I sure enough goddamn appreciate you. Look here, though. I'm sipping on my Rio Niti. Rio Niti. That's what it's goddamn called. Yo, look. We got Palia, right? She lives in L.A. She actually went to the Catfish Studios to meet up with Ke um, Neve and Cammy. I was going to call them niggas Nikavi. Damn. <sighs> Shit. But Palia went over there to the studios, right? Because she was like, look here. I need y'all to help me out. My little Kim folk, Aaliyah, she's 20. She from Vegas. Is that where she from? She from Vegas. She out here being catfished in these streets by this little nigga named Jaquan. He from Baltimore. They've been talking for a year and a half on the phone. This nigga done ghosted her ass 5,100 goddamn times. Ain't showed up when he said he was going to goddamn show up. So I'm going to need y'all to help me out here. The nigga claim he a model, but they ain't never FaceTime on the phone. What kind of model, number one, don't stay out the mirror, don't stay not taking selfies, and won't give your ass no video FaceTime, no video nothing, no nothing? Then you say, oh, you already know that shit don't even sound right with me. I'm getting twitching my goddamn eye. Your kid folk know that you here right now? She said, nah, I don't know. She didn't think I was going to actually do it. And he said, I sure know you here. <laughs> Go call that bitch up for me real quick. Kimfo call her up. She like, bitch, what you doing, Kimfo? She like, nah, bitch, you already know I'm over here at the house chilling. That twist up something. What y'all doing? She like, oh, nothing. Look here. I got somebody want to see y'all. Bitch, need coming to camera like this. 
Peace up, A-Town down. It's leave. <laughs> Bitch, I'm here. What's up? What's good? I heard somebody catfishing you out here. You need a nigga or what? Now, little mama Leah said that she ended up sliding in his DMs, and that's how they actually end up meeting. She slid in the DMs like, oh, you know, you cute or whatever. He said, all right, little mama, you cute too, whatever. So they started talking from there. Now, mama is in love with photos and a voice, y'all. This nigga claim his phone is broke. Claim he can't do this. Claim he can't do that. And the only picture she has of him, she done took off this nigga's social media. He ain't even sent her no goddamn pictures of himself, son. Why is it 2020 and we ain't learned the rules of the catfish game just yet? I'm not understanding even though La Mama is 20, she was a cute little thing, too. She just want to be, she's young, she's a virgin on top of that. So, you know, she, she itching down there. I just keep it real. She itching down there. She ready to get that, that, that peach to some damn body. But, but, but Jaquan asked, baby, I, I knew off the rip. No, baby. No, baby. All right, so Aaliyah end up getting flewed out to L.A. She meets up with Neve and Cammie. They sitting down, they talking or whatever, right? What's going on with this nigga? Tell me everything you know about him, right? This little girl done said she done sent him money before because he done came out and said, damn, shit, nigga hungry than a motherfucker. This nigga say he hungry, so she sent his ass some money. Baby. What really was irritating me with this is y'all know I'm damn near 40. This baby was 20. She, I'm old enough to be her mama. So I'm looking at this as if I'm your mama. Cause trust me, if I had a daughter, I'd be getting on her goddamn ass. Oh, I don't discriminate. I don't goddamn discriminate. And I said what the fuck I said. But look here. It, it was just 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 too goddamn much going on with that. Now, she said that um she told Jaquan that she was meeting with Catfish. Then you said, bitch, what you do that for? She was like, well, I just didn't want to catch him off guard. And I just didn't want to hide nothing from him. But look at the message that he sent me. He sent her a message back and was like, why would you meet with Catfish? I told you I don't want to meet on TV. If you really want to meet, I'll fly, um, I'll buy a ticket out to where you live or where you're at and I'll come see you tomorrow. This nigga screenshots her, uh, not a flight itinerary, but where you actually look up prices to see how much the goddamn tickets to the flight are. Not an actual itinerary that you don't book the fucking flight. Girl, after that, me was like, bitch. I'm glad the nigga agreed to do that. You almost fucked the shit up. All right, y'all. So, Neve and Cammy go to investigate. They go, first of all, they search the phone numbers. Don't find nothing on the phone number. They search his um, pictures. Don't find nothing on his pictures, right? They search the nigga IG, and they see that this is one nigga that's consistently been commenting on his shit. His name is Harker Heights, right? Now... Jaquan told Aaliyah that he doesn't have a Facebook. Now, mind you, Aaliyah as well does not have a Facebook. So, Neve is like, well, let me just put this nigga in a Facebook search engine just to see if he pops up. Lo and be fucking ho, this nigga done popped up. He got a whole goddamn Facebook page. Been updated recently as two months ago. He got whole conversations going on there with a bunch of little bobbleheads and shit. He putting shit on there like... I'm horny, replies my babe. It's all these goddamn thirst mongols out there replying back to him. But then again, he is out there thirst trapping and trap thirsting and all this goddamn shit. He got this one little girl on there. Well, I show you what it is. He's like, well, bitch, don't play with me. Well, bitch, don't play with me. I show you what it is. Like, he was just on there real nasty, real vulgar and shit with it. Just disrespecting the goddamn code. So once again, they see this nigga Harker Heights on there, right? So Neve was like, well, I'm gonna go ahead and reach out to this nigga Harker Heights. Neve ends up sending him a message. Nigga ends up calling him back. Yo, uh, what's, what's good? What's this about? He sounded sketchy from the fucking get-go. I was like, it's something about this nigga. Watch his goddamn ass. Neve was like, yeah, what up? This this Neve, you know, your local catch a catfishing bitch out here trying to catfish bitches up in these catfish streets. Um, we looking to see if you know a nigga named Jaquan, because we know he out here catfishing a bitch. Neve couldn't even get that shit out all the way clear. This nigga, Harker Heights or Parker Heights or Park Heights, whatever the fuck his name is, he hung up the phone. Neve said, oh. 
Oh, we got bitches hanging up phones now. Oh, we want to hang up phones now. They say, okay, not a motherfucking problem. Need put his goddamn phone number in the search engine. End up getting this nigga first and last goddamn name. Nigga's like, ha <laughs> Bingo! We got motherfucking action. So Neve end up texting his ass, look here. Uh <laughs> I'ma give your ass the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we had a bad connection and, and, and the phone dropped some kind of goddamn way. Cause nigga, I know you ain't bold enough to hang up on a badass nigga like me. But look here. Holla back at me. If not, nigga, we gon' find you. Neve tries to go back on this nigga Park Heights goddamn page. He blocked. He goes and searches the nigga name under the phone number he find. He blocked from that shit. I say, oh, bingo. We got action. So they end up meeting up with Aaliyah like, look here, bitch. Let me tell you what the fuck we done found out. So look here. Woof de woo yada 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 this is what the hell happened nigga actually do got a goddamn facebook page she shocked as hell they tell her about the phone number that they find this nigga park heights she shocked as hell they say well look here the number we find is registered to some nigga named kion she was like oh that sound like his brother his nickname is ko they like oh what <laughs> look here Ain't nothing else to it but to do it. You know what I'm saying? Look here, I'm going to need you to go ahead and call this little old nigga. Go ahead and hook it up. Let him know that we here. We trying to meet up. What's good? So she called him. She like, look here, nigga. I'm with Neve, and uh, we already know some shit ain't right. You out here catfishing or fit cashing or doing something out here in this bitch. So we going to beat up or what's up? What's good? The nigga was sketchy. He was like, oh, I don't know. I'm really scared. I don't want to meet on TV. I don't want to do it. He was sketchy and shit, which I get it. But you shouldn't have been out here doing the sketchy ass shit that you was doing. And not worried about trying to get caught out goddamn here. Oh, Neve going to catch your fucking ass. It's only a matter of goddamn time. The nigga finally does agree to meet up. Finally. So she's like, all right, cool. Neve and them say they gonna go ahead and flew you out here. Gonna get flewed out or whatever. And we gonna meet up. Don't play with me. Because you already see. <laughs> Nigga, we got your brother. We can get you too. It's the next morning, the day of the meet up. This goddamn girl sends a pen to where she's at. They go to the park. They waiting and waiting and waiting. The little motherfucker don't show up. They end up going to a goddamn cafe. She sends him another pen like, look here, bitch. If you don't come right now, damn now to this, it's over. Fuck you and four motherfuckers that look like you. I'm not finna sit up here and wait on your goddamn ass. They waiting and waiting and waiting. Finally, this nigga come with a damn hoodie over his head, dressed in all black like he about to do some old terroristic shit. What you in here walking in here looking all suspect and shit for? Yeah, I said it. He looks suspect as hell. When he walked in all, and he kind of stood there, I was like, this nigga finna start swing? Like, what? <laughs> Bitch, what's good? What is this nigga doing? Turns out, it's actually him. It is actually the nigga in the pictures that she been talking to the whole goddamn time. Yeah, I know what you said. Auntie, what? That's exactly what I said. What? This nigga claimed he's so shy. He was too scared. He didn't know what to do. Whoopty whoop, yada, yada, goddamn, yada. Can't be like, um... I call bullshit because uh, we seen your little old nasty ass Facebook page and we seen you on there thirst trapping them them trap thirst and what the hell you was out here goddamn doing. What you got to say for yourself with that? Nah, I was just bored. I was playing around. Can't be saying, nigga, please. Don't fucking play with me. She don't see the shit, but I see. Baby, Cammie was sending me this whole goddamn episode. She was calling out the bullshit left and right and I showed up. Pre That's why I fucks with Cammie. She was like, uh-uh. So, you couldn't get in contact with her this whole time. But you can be all on social media doing all this stuff. Well, I, I, I was just shot bullshit. Finally, they go and they have their little talk, their little one-on-one -on -one talk. And they just talking about being together. They being young and in love and acting real young. And it was actually kind of cute. I give them that young puppy love. It was cute even though you know girl run far, far away from his ass. He got all the fuck boy triggers. You don't know what a fuck boy is, what a real fuck boy is when you get older, but he got them traits to him, young sis. I'm just saying. Child, 
uh, Cammy tells them, you know, um, before they leave, you know, before they leave and part ways, she's like, okay, now look here. I know y'all want to hang out. We're going to give y'all some time to hang out. Look here. Just make sure when all this shit is said and done, y'all work on the relationship. Ain't nobody moving no goddamn well. Y'all going to take this shit slow. Okay, Auntie Cammy, we get you. Bitch, too much um, too much follow up. She done moved to goddamn Baltimore. She said once the shit wrapped, the taping wrapped, what the next day, the day after, this little heifer done moved her ass to Baltimore. And they gonna stay there until they're able to both move to LA. Y'all. <laughs> Whoo! I could have really went in, but I'm not gonna do that because like I said, the young sister is young. She just, she just, her cat throbbing. She just trying to get a little ski taste, see what it's like. I get it, but girl, girl, trust your auntie. You can do better than that. Look here. If it was anything that I missed, y'all already know. Drop it down below and let me know. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And your auntie Mo and her Rio Nitti will see you in the next video. Peace up. Peace up, A-Town Down. <laughs>